Karina and this is my absolutely wonderful dog Fiona. Today we're going to be talking about propagating houseplants. More specifically, pothos and dragon trees. The first thing you need to know about pothos is how to identify them. This pothos is green because it's had a little bit more shade. That's right Fiona! Pothos that have more yellow on them are most likely closer to the sun. Propagation is the second thing you need to know about pothos. Pothos don't usually have seeds, so that probably means that you need to look for bulbs on the end of a stem. Propagation is the act of making new plants. When you want to propagate your plant, you need to find a, a stem with roots on it, which are little tiny bulbs. Then you want to snip off the ends, like this, and cut off some leaves at the bottom, and then snip it and put it in some water. Then, after a few weeks, your plant will look like this. It will have roots and, and wait a little bit longer and then put it in some soil. Time to pot our pothos. baby pothos came from this big pothos, which means in a long time or a while, this one will become something similar to this, this pothos. That's all for pothos. Let's talk about dragon trees. Hello, welcome back. Today, right now, we're going to talk about dragon trees, and I'm here to introduce my sister, Aileana, about dragon trees. Now, to talk about dragon trees, to start, we're going to need to talk about how dragon trees look and how to identify them. One way dragon trees can be identified is by their long skinny leaves. Their long skinny leaves and their, and their little scale-like bark. Dragon trees can also be identified because their long skinny leaves typically grow in clusters on the branches. That's exactly right. To propagate your dragon tree, sharp, clean clippers are good to use because craft scissors are typically not sharp enough. Like pothos, Dragon trees have bulbs when they're ready to sprout roots. Find a place where the bulbs stop. Then cut at a very sharp diagonal line so that the tree can grow, sprout new, new life. The reason we need to put, cut these into sections is to put in water. After a little while, they'll look like this. Put it with the points facing up. The next step is to cut a diagonal line. That's all. Pot dragon trees at Almost the same way as you pot pothos. It's been a few weeks, and I want to give you an update. This is one of the clippings I cut. Remember it? It's okay for the leaf to turn a bit brown because it's focused on its energy on its roots. Look at the roots. Now, these ones take a bit longer because they don't have leaves to absorb the sun. But I don't see any. Oh, look, there's one at the bottom. Do you see it right there? It's starting to sprout a bit white. The other ones are doing great too, but it's okay if not all yours do great because I I have two more over here from the last time I I went. I did something like this and they aren't they aren't growing and that's okay. Hope you enjoy.